Hey there YouTube. Uh, today we're going to do a little bit different video. I'm going to be getting measurements of the truck's ground clearance at various points as well as let's say ground, uh, ground defender or hub defender. I want to do this while the truck is still factory so I have a reference point to go off of after I do the lift and everything next year. So, I'm going to show you what's going on. I have gone to a spot where I pretty much got the truck as level as I could get it, according to the truck. And, uh, yeah, because there's not too many flat places I could go to to do this. And one of the places I wanted to go to is currently being used, so here we are, kind of in a spot that's away from everything, out past the golf course. Nobody to bother me. Truck is saying it's pretty much level. We're going to run with it. So let me grab the tape measure and uh, we'll get out there and, and get some measurements. All right, we're gonna start with the uh, left front wheel. That's looking like 34, just a hair under 34 and a half from ground to fender. About the center point of the hub, hard to tell. Somewhere around 19 and three quarter. I wouldn't put too much faith on that measurement, but the ground to fender definitely. Left rear, ground to fender. We're looking at 30. Just a hair over 36 inches from the ground to the fender. And that's going through the center point of the wheel. Ground the hitch. Ground the hitch is looking like Fifteen, right about fifteen and a half, from ground to hitch. All right, so let me crawl under the back end here. All right, around and get this. Get a good spot. Looking down the center line of the axle. So the lowest point on the rear diff. And come in here. The lowest point is just a hair under 10 inches at the rear diff. Looks like 20 for for my non-Americans out there. We're looking at 25 centimeters, which comes out to about nine and what is that? Nine and, nine and seven eighths of an H. So about nine, nine and seven eighths to the uh, rear diff at the lowest point. Not counting the RTV that's dangling, but the actual diff cover itself, which is the lowest point on the rear end. Uh, let's measure the bottom of the shock here. Round to the bottom of the shock, the lowest point that I could see. 
is right about nine and a half inches. So left rear shock is nine and a half. Differential is nine and seven eighths. The right rear shock, remember this isn't perfectly level. So I might have to take the difference of the two and, and do some math. We're looking at nine and nine and an eighth. It's about nine and eighth there. So overall, I would say splitting the difference between the shocks would probably about nine and a quarter. Alright, so let's move up and get the low point of the fuel tank and all that. So here we are under the left side of the truck. From the ground to... We're going to go to the center of the fuel tank skid. Is looking... Right about ten and a half inches to the center of the skid plate. How about the, the frame? Ground to the frame. Ground to the frame is 11 and a half inches. How about this uh, center cross member? I know that's not the low point, but it's there. I'm kind of curious. It's looking like 11 and... 11 and a quarter. Not too bad, eh? Let's go to the lowest point on the transfer transfer case skid. And that is nine and nine and three eighths. Yeah, nine and three eighths because it's just under nine and a half. So the lowest point on the transfer plate, transfer case skid plate, is nine and three eighths. Well, let's make our way up to the front. Okay, so here we are under the front differential, and they measure this, the lowest point at the differential itself. But if you ask me, it's either this part of the oil pan skid or this point of the splash shield is actually the lowest. But because they measure to the diff, I'm also going to measure there, but I'm also going to measure the plates, which technically are lower. So let's do that. What's the lowest point? On the diff here. The lowest point at the diff would be this front diff mount. The lowest point is just a hair under nine inches. So we're going to say eight and seven eighths. It's so about an inch lower, which makes sense because there's about an inch or so of rake in the truck. So the lowest point on this aluminum splash shield here is nine and nine and one eighth. And the lowest point on the oil pan skid is right about eight and a half inches. Where 
just say nine and three eighths to the bottom of the aluminum skid plate on the front. So Nissan says there's nine and a half at the front diff. So I wonder where they measure that because at the lowest point on the diff would be the mount. And I got just a hair under. If I go to this part on the body of the front diff, yeah, it's about nine and a half there, but that's not the lowest point. Interesting. That would make sense because of the inch of rake. Say the rear is about an inch or so higher, and because of that, it's going to be lower up front. So that's uh that's what we got for measurements on the truck. Let me know what else you guys want to see or any other measurements I can get. And uh yeah, talk to you guys next time with an update. The truck is just over four thousand miles on it. And I'm getting ready to do my second break in oil change. And then after that, I'm going to go to my 3,000 mile inter intervals. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Have fun. And I'll catch you on the next one.